Hey guys, with it being summer right now, um, I use a lot of highlighters on my face to, you know, so that the sun hits it and it illuminates my face and looks like a really pretty glow. So I have found one that I literally think is the most perfect shade for every skin tone imaginable. And before I introduce it to you, um, this is an, a highlighter that has been custom blended by my favorite makeup artist in the whole world. I don't know about you guys, but I'm very into reading like beauty blogs and I follow a lot of like celebrity makeup artists and things like that um, based on looks that I like and my favorite makeup artist is Mario Dedevanoic and he is the Kardashian family's makeup artist but obviously he doesn't only do that he has done he's a New York based artist so he does a lot of stuff there he's worked on like Sandra Bullock, Julia Stiles, um, Kate Beckinsale you know some of the really really priceless beauties out there and his story is that he actually created this highlighter called I Am Glam by Gila Custom Blend Cosmetics um, while sitting, you know, on the floor, like at his apartment, trying to get like the perfect highlighter. And I really, really think that he has succeeded 100%. This is available at Gila.com and um, it's just called I Am Glam, like I am glam. And um, that's the only place that you can get it. You can't get it like from his blog or anything like that. but it is a goldish um, highlighter, but it has silver and pink to it, which really works in a lot of different skin colors. Because in general, gold on the highlight, or, or sorry, on your cheekbones, tends to look um, better on people who have more pigmentation to their skin than people who are lighter. But because of the fact that it also has silver in here, it really works well on all skin types. And I'm going to, com I'm going to swatch this in comparison to some of the other. Um, highlighters that I've used in the past, ones that I really like as well. But before that, I want to talk about this jar. It is, where are the portions of this? Okay, it like, doesn't seem to say like how much is in here, but it's a lot, as you can tell. It's definitely a really big jar. It has like a sifter like all loose powders do. That's what the color looks like outside. And then when you put it anywhere else, it looks like that. It's what I have on right now as well. It's a very, very pretty color. It's kind of an understated um, color, which is what I like. It doesn't look like too much. It's right there. And I really like that. So it isn't one of those like overpowering highlighters. It is, it looks really shimmery in here, but it doesn't come off that way. All the shimmer really blends beautifully to give you a very you know, put together or highlight. It doesn't look like, it's not going to like clump the gold glitter in here and the silver over here. It's just, it's very smooth. It's a loose powder so you would use like a, you know, any natural bristle brush to put it on. I, I love like the MAC 109 for highlighters in general. So I really like that. This is $35 online but there is a $5, a 5 or something dollar shipping charge. So I ended up paying over 40 for this but Honestly, it's really worth it because loose powders never get over. They take the longest time to get over. And especially in comparison to MAC's mineralized skin finishes. I don't know about you guys, but for me, this stuff flies everywhere when I put it on. And because of that, I end up wasting a lot more product than I, you know, will ever, than I should. So I really don't like that. And these get over a lot faster. They're baked, so your brush picks up a lot more than it should. And because of that, you end up using a lot more. This is another one that I really like. It's triple fusion but obviously the highlight that I use is the top one up here and this is what that looks like so you can tell this one is triple fusion this one is I am glam this is very very pretty but this is strictly for nighttime because it has so much shimmer to this so I really like it but the only thing is that you can't really make this look understated in any way no matter how much you blend or whatever you do it still stays really pigmented so you have to make sure you get the right amount in your brush to begin with. Another one of my favorite is a Mineralized Skin Finish Duo right here in medium dark. And these they don't sell this anymore at the MAC store, but they have these at the cosmetic company outlets. It comes with a natural Mineralized Skin Finish and the shimmer right here. And this is what the shimmer looks like. This shimmer I feel like is really similar to I Am Glam. It's just a little bit more peachy. It's right here. And that's why this is also like my huge huge like all-time favorite but since they don't make it it's kind of hard to find and they don't like they have kept these like the natural skin finishes separately so they make that separately but they don't make these same like this exact color anymore so 
I've had to find a dupe for this and I really feel like the Jilo one is that for me. And then I love Shell, which is a cream color base by MAC. So it is cream and that means that you have to be careful with the way you put it on. And that's what it looks like. It has a lot of, it's like a pinkish silver is the way I describe it. So these are the five that I have. And I do have this one too, but I like it. I haven't opened this yet. It's Golden Bronze Loose Powder by MAC. This is Golden Bronze by MAC, and I'm not trying to flick you guys off, but that's what it looks like. And now that I look at it, this is probably the, the one that's the most similar to Gila's I Am Glam. But um, both of them are loose powders. They're both very shimmery, and they're both very pretty. Um, the loose powders in general, I think, are a good investment because they're not something that gets over very fast. So it's not like you need to worry about, like, you know, I'm going to spend so much money on it. Is it going to really last me? Because it will last you. So... Again, this is I Am Glam by Gila. It's a relatively new product, so, you know, I wasn't sure if I wanted to give this a try, but being the being as it was, you know, custom blended by the, um, my favorite makeup artist, like, forever, I definitely wanted to give this a try, and I really, really love this. So, you guys, if you have this, let me know what you think, and if you don't, you should definitely give this a try if you have not found, you know, a highlighter that you think is, like, your holy grail, because I feel like this would become it. Um, it's just amazing for all skin colors. It's great to have in your makeup kit as well because of that reason. So um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.